Okay, I want to do a quick video here with um, a couple different radios. Uh, this is the radio of many names. Um, it is the Whistler WS1010. It is the Radio Shack Pro 404. It is the Radio Shack Pro 649. It is the um, uh, GRE PSR 100. Um, and it is, uh, if you're looking at this radio in particular, it is a Franken scanner. This one actually has a keypad from a Whistler um, WS-1010, but is in fact a um, uh, Pro 404 insides. Uh, so <laughs> the keypad on the scanner, the original keypad, um, was, was in pretty rough shape. So I used a uh, donor radio. Um, to, to kind of replace the keypad. So the uh, the Whistler manufactured one is the Pro. Let's see if I can screw this up. The Whistler manufactured one is the Pro um, uh, 649. Uh, the GRE manufactured one is the Pro 404. And then GRE manu or sold their own version as the PSR 100. And when GRE went out of business and Whistler got all the um, intellectual property and, and designs and everything from GRE, they produced their own WS-1010, and there are different versions of this. There's a 400-channel version as well. Um, uh, and they also sold one to Radio Shack, which Radio Shack immediately turned around and sold as the Pro 649. Uh, these radios are, I don't have a Pro 649 in front of me, but these radios are identical to each other um, inside. Uh, I've actually taken them apart and looked inside um, and compared them side by side, and they are identical. Um, there are some really, really minor differences in how these things are put together, like the size of the LEDs. Um, you can see uh, that the, you know, the backlight is a little bit brighter on the um, Whistler manufactured radio. Um, this, oh, I don't know if I turn the thing on. Uh, but the, the CPU and everything is, is the same. The performance, as far as I can tell, is identical. Um, it's also identical to a familiar face, which is the Pro 82. Uh, which is actually the Pro 79, which is manufactured by GRE. Um, this one has a, has a mod to it. Um, of course, there's two LEDs there. One of them is bad, so you have to get back inside that one and uh, replace the other LED, too. Um, I'll turn that off for now, but that is a Pro uh, 404. It's Everything about it is it, it's a Pro 404. It just has a Whistler keypad, um, and then obviously I've done the backlight mod on that. Uh, just to kind of compare, you know, these are GRE manufactured scanners. The Pro 82, here's another one, Pro 95, um, versus uh, unit in manufactured scanners like here's Pro 162, and uh, here's a Pro 135. Uh, the Pro 135 is actually a pretty underrated radio. Um, the Pro 135 can receive down to 25 megahertz. Uh, these other radios stop, with the exception of the Pro 95, um, stop at uh, uh, 29 megahertz. So uh, this uh, radio actually has a really good um, uh, receiver uh, for AM. So you can use it to, whoops, you can use it to uh, Uh, listen to the CB band and it actually has a really uh, tight receiver. Uh, on the radio right now, but um, uh, with with AM, you know, bandwidth is noise, so um, the receiver on this is really tight on AM for uh, the CB band, from 25 to 28 megahertz band. Um, 
and the uh, the aviation band uh, 108 to 136.975. Um, so these are underrated as far as you know analog handheld scanners go. These are pretty underrated. Um, I think they're about as good as the Whistler, you know, GRE, whatever you want to call them, uh, PSR 100, WS 1010, uh, Pro 404, and um, Pro 649 radios. Uh, these are GRE radios. These are Pro 82s, um, which is the Pro 79 with a different case or a slightly different, you know, um, uh, you know, format. Uh, it's got the service search is just kind of as buttons instead of just. Uh, if you're familiar with the Pro um, 79 or the Pro 89, uh, I use that as kind of a, um, you know, uh, what do you want to call it, like benchmark. Um, the Pro 79 was the first scanner I ever owned. Um, and then I got a Pro, Pro 96, and, uh, you know, that was when uh, the Pro 96 was, was a brand spanking new and cost 500 bucks. Um, but, uh, yeah, these GRE radios are nice. That uh, they're actually very easy to do that backlight mod on, which is kind of cool. Um, you can see how nice that red looks compared to the uh, compared to the factory. Um, you know, that's the factory backlight. And then, of course, you can compare that to the uh, Whistler uh, manufactured radio and the brightness on that. But again, that's the factory backlight. And then uh, this is the GRE one. So it's not as bright, but I like the yellow. I like the orange one. Um, I like the red a lot. So I, I might switch these two guys over to red. Uh, in the process of doing that with this one, but um, as far as cheap, you know, uh, voice, you know, analog voice listening radios, these are actually pretty decent. Um, you know, they they do suffer from uh, inner mod issues because they're double conversion designs um the you know nicer ones like the pro 95 uh these radios that do trunking um you know they they some of them are, are triple conversion designs and so they they do a lot better with intermod but uh one thing that they don't have um well this radio has it and this radio has it. Um, it's an uh, attenuator. Um, I really wish that they made these cheaper radios with an attenuator or, or some kind of switchable. Um, you know, ideally, it would be RF gain and uh, you know a tight and narrow or wide and narrow um, IF bandwidth function for for narrow FM. Um, but otherwise, these things are good and the. Pro 404, Pro 649, WS1010, and PSR100 are all the same radio, <laughs> just uh, made by two different companies and sold under four different brand names or model numbers.